Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Rox again here back again with another video and today like always we'll be covering the new Aimblex update so let's get right into it. Alright, let's start straight off with the new RPG skin and I must say it's quite nice and looks pretty nice but you definitely recognize this design before with the like the T-Vid rocket but hey we we'll definitely have some gameplay with that later on, so be sure to check that out. Next on, new players now get a free M4A1 as long as they don't have any other weapon so far, which I find is a good addition because honestly, the default pistol you start with is quite bad. New addition, more or less, but keys have been removed now. You know the ones you get from a rank up chest. Well, they pretty much never have done anything in the game ever, so it's good they are gone now to clear up the confusion. Next on, we now got speed lens whenever you sprint or air slide, and to be honest, I hate them. They are just noticeable enough to throw me off, and it's really annoying, honestly. And lastly, we once again got a new improved starting menu, and this time I think they pretty much nailed it. I really like how it looks now, so good job, I'm blocks. Next are the bug fixes, with which we start off with the updated RPG skin UV fix and pretty simply explained it pretty much makes every skin look a bit better which makes sense since we obviously have the new skin to look at. And next on the P90 snake skin is now applying correctly when using attachment which is good because the skin looked kind of weird when it was just kind of glitching around the attachment so that's quite nice it's fixed. And next on we can now finally modify the boomer well at least we can apply skin since you can't actually add attachments to it but still it's quite nice. Next on we got more clear button feedback sounds and well listen for yourself. And last one with the bug fixes is that we can now finally again use the spectate button in the lobby minigames which is quite nice I think they had to remove it since it was kind of bugged in the back but hey it's fixed now so that's really nice. And let's start straight off with the weapon balancing which we first of have the dual uses. The ammo has been increased to 64 from 48 which is quite nice. They also now gonna move to a 1.8 which is pretty much around pistol speed. Also the minimum is now 19 instead of 9 and the maximum is 29 from 12 and obviously the biggest change is the RPM which has been reduced from 1300 to 610 which actually makes it controllable now. Next on we have the M1 Garand which got a nice movement speed buff to 1.15 but overall it has been quite nerfed with a min damage nerf from 46 to 35, a max damage nerf from 80 to 60 and its headshot multiplier has been reduced to 1.2 from 1.5. And straight onto the Glock 18 which also got its speed buff to 1.27 which is quite insanely fast to be honest. Its min damage went from 9 to 12 and the max damage went from 14 to 25 and it also got the same headshot multiplayer nerf like the Garand from 1.5 to 1.2 and lastly it now has 900 RPM instead of 960. Another pistol with the M1911 it now has 8 ammo instead of 12 but it also got the same 1.27 move speed as the Glock which makes sense. Its min damage went from 17 to 25 and the max damage now is 45 instead of 24 which is again pretty nuts. But the biggest difference is now that it only shoots with 350 RPM instead of 550 and you will definitely be able to feel that in the game. And lastly we got a small buff to the minigun which now has 1.0 IK default move speed instead of 0.8 but honestly it's still not quite worth using. And very much lastly before we hop into some gameplay, a new domination type game mode is said to be coming out soon as well as some new karametry cars and something called combat cards. I don't quite know what they are right now, but I'm pretty much very excited for these. But anyways, let's get straight into some gameplay. And then here we are straight in the first round. And I thought, why not? Let's use the RPG because obviously that's the priced thing of this thing. And that's why I switched them out with my pumpkins for today, which is the only that this is the only time of the day you would ever see me not use my pumpkins until they get nerfed. And we're gonna rock with the Glock 18 because this thing got a, got a, a pretty juicy buff actually. So we're gonna try this thing out. But I hope you guys' day has been well. Mine has been going pretty alright today, so far. But yeah, this thing actually does pretty good now. I mean, as you can always see from the stats overview, the thing has decent damage. And I thought I'd throw in the Headhunter for good measures. Because, ahem, Headhunter video coming soon, by the way, so be sure to check that out. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Always good, sir. It's good, sir. Excuse me. But yeah, as you can see now, this thing does like 20 damage on the head. Which is actually quite high, if I think about it like this. This thing has also pretty high RPM. The 1.27 move speed. And the fact that this thing is pretty much a budget frostbite. It's pretty, pretty nice to use. I quite enjoy this gun. So we're using it, because I think it's funny. No. And this is the exact reason why I only put in the headhunter. So I can only save myself if I actually have the aim for it to save myself. The other change was with the M1911, but the thing is pretty much just it's now four shots every range and like two shots headshots close range. 
Which is a nice buff, I guess, for this thing, because it kind of reminds me like the old one, but eh, it's the kind of meh. What are you on about? And of course, he uses a BFG. We Ah, oh, I love this. I hope Inlux never removes this feature, or like this bug, or whatever it's called. It's it's glorious. That was behind me. And never mind. Okay, that almost killed me though, because he used a sniper. Vaguely rude. That's another. That's a point. But yeah, I quite like. I mean, the RPG is nice, but I think like other like launchers have way better utility. Like, um, obviously the pumpkins if we have them. The supernova is also really good because it has pretty much almost the exact same height as this thing. But it has more bullets and you don't have to reload every time. Oh, hello. Sir. Power gun mindset. Hey. Okay, <laughs> that was quite the interesting run. We'll see us straight in a second and last one. Alright, and here we are in the second and last round now. It's airship and obviously still the same loadout. The father throws him headhunter now because headhunter is funny. And that shows how terrible my aim actually is. That was a nice one though. The update is quite mid in my opinion. It's decent enough. Yeah, it doesn't feel completely stale, but I still kind of wish we had a bit more. I mean, it would have been nice, you know. I would, I would never say anything against more weapons and not just constant recolors. Because I lowkey think, I think the last weapon, like the last actual weapon we got were the Christmas weapons. I think that's where the last weapons we actually got. I got, I got that much. God, I do have my rocket launcher. And yeah. But yeah, honestly, the last weapons we really got were the Christmas weapons. And those were the snow launcher and the... No, the snowball is actually not even new. That wasn't the old 2019 event. I thought, but hey. Maybe we get a gun the next... Maybe we get a new weapon soon. We can all... All we can do is pray, really. Well, you might be showing your head, thank you. God, my micros are horrible. My micro aim is so bad, it's ridiculous. Hey, could you? No. I hate duck players. They're meanies. Um, hello. This is the last time I'm gonna say this. Down with you. Stay put. Good. I think he learned now. But yeah, Tom said that was actually kind of fun, but this lobby's kind of dead. And it's kind of annoying getting own guns gameplay recently because just people just keep leaving. I mean, understandable. Not really, but hey. Mm, how about you don't do that, okay? How about you have a friendly deal? But yeah, if you want to use the, if you want to use this thing, it's actually really good to use. Really strong gun too. I don't think he hit a single duck on the. Happens, I guess. And honestly, by the way, this thing is best to use close range. But as you can see, you could see me lasering people from like a lot. Long ranges. Which this thing is also pretty decent at. In my opinion. Um, hello. Excuse, excuse me. Also, a quick question for everyone that has watched this far. First of all, thank you very much. And the second thing is, would you guys like mind if I like would you guys like if I read some of my TikTok comments? I posted some TikToks and I brought like 60 comments at this point. So I thought why not? Maybe I read comments for us. So if you guys like, let me know in the comments. Also, don't forget to leave a like if you haven't already. I appreciate the support very much all the time. Eh, this lobby is pretty much over, almost. He jumps too much. My micros are too bad for this. I need to practice my micro aiming. So, that's quite mean using the MP7 on me like that. Um, okay, that worked. Better than I thought it would. We need one more. Let's be funny. Boing. Never mind. We're not gonna do it. <laughs> well, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this little, the new update video. So, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and obviously subscribe. It's the best way to show me support. Anyways, I'm Roxy, I'm just gonna create an enemy in the next one. Ciao, ciao.